this lesson is about the normal distribution. Now, most of you will have seen the normal distribution somewhere. It looks a little bit like this on a PDF of a normal distribution, it looks like this. It is a continuous distribution. So it's a special type of continuous distribution. But it's really important to understand that really the normal distribution is sort of the king of all distributions or even more so the queen of all distributions. It is really the distribution that almost rules them all. But many things will lead to the normal distribution. And for those of you who are not royalists amongst you, and I am not one either, if you prefer to say, you could say that the normal distribution is the precedent of all distributions. Now, why is that so? There are many natural processes, natural in terms of the natural world, like the height of people, weight of people, but also many processes resulting of social interactions between businesses and individuals that can be fairly well approximated by the normal distribution. That is the first reason why the normal distribution is super useful, not only for economists, but also for other social scientists and natural scientists. But there's one extra reason why the normal distribution is special and therefore we devote an entire lesson to it. It is that statistical processes like calculating averages, which is what we do a lot in statistics, will result under certain conditions in averages as random variables which are normally distributed themselves. And that means that lots of the inference, which we'll move on to later, is really based on normal distributions. And therefore, you really need to know almost everything about normal distributions, or at least all of the things we are asking you to know, to know about the normal distribution.